Hi, this is Mata. In this video, I will show you an extremely beautiful chess game. This is the game between Horowitz and a known player that was played in Los Angeles in 1940. And uh, this is a game worth seeing. Horowitz started with e4. Black played e5. Opening is a Vienna game. Knight to c3. Knight to c6. Bishop to c4. Bishop to c5. And now you know why why he didn't play knight to f3. He wanted to play queen to g4 early. Queen is attacking pawn on g7. And black played queen to f6, defending pawn on g7. And also attacking pawn on f2. And you would expect white to play knight to f3. But he played risky and aggressively. Knight to d5, attacking queen and allowing black to capture on f2 with check. King to d1. Now black played king to f8 to protect his pawn on g7. Knight to h3, attacking queen. Queen to d4, attacking bishop. d3, bishop to b6, making more room for queen if she needs to escape. Now rook to f1, very good move. Lining up rook with the black king and also rook is aiming at f7 square. The best move for black in this position is to play knight to d8 protecting f7. Instead he wanted to develop his knight and he played knight to f6. What would you play in this position if you had white pieces? Well white captured knight with rook and black realized that actually he can't take back. Because if he does, let's check what happens if he does. Then check, king to e8, queen to g7, threatening checkmate. So d6, queen takes rook check, king to d7, knight takes on f6 check, king to e7, queen to e8 check, king takes knight and checkmate on f7. That's why in this position, black didn't capture rook. He played d6, attacking queen. And white made another spectacular move. Can you see anything spectacular here? Have you seen this? White sacrificed his queen on g7. So black takes. And now bishop to h6 check. Bishop is protected by rook. Rook is protected by knight. So the only move is king to g8. And in this position, white can give checkmate in two different ways. If you wish, you can pause this video and you can try to find a checkmate. Are you ready? First I will show you variation that wasn't played, and that is knight to e7 check. Then black must take, and now bishop takes on f7 checkmate. In the game, white played rook to g6 check. And black had a choice. He can capture with f or with his h-pawn. If f takes, then knight to f6 checkmate. And in the game, black captured with h-pawn and knight to f6 checkmate. So this was a very short game with so many beautiful moves, wasn't it? And that is all. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.